Learning some stuff about infinity is going to help us in understanding calculus and to solve the problem of finding the slope of the parabola that we discussed earlier. There are many ways that we can talk about infinity. For example, we can say that the set of all real numbers is infinitely big. This set shown here is not the set of all real numbers because it doesn't show the decimals in between each of one of these numbers. The set of all real numbers is infinite because you can count from 1 to 2 all the way up to infinity, or you can divide between, say, 0 and, zero and 1 an infinite number of times. However, how do we think about this? Is this set of all real numbers, just counting by ones, somehow smaller than the set of all real numbers, counting by an infinite number of decimals? It's some food for thought. Now let's look over here. We can talk about infinity in terms of going, heading in a direction, because we can say that as x goes to positive infinity, y also goes to positive infinity. We can say that as x approach goes to negative infinity, y still goes to positive infinity. Finally, we can talk about infinity as infinitely approaching something. In this case, the graph y o equals 1 over x, we see that the graph is infinitely approaching the x-axis. It's never going to touch it, but it will get infinitely close. To explain this concept of infinitely approaching something, picture a stick figure. This stick figure's name is Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, guys. Joe has no width at all. He is a one-dimensional stick figure. Even though Joe feels fat, he really is actually supermodel skinny. To distract himself eternally from his cravings for a Big Mac, Joe is going to entertain himself by walking towards a wall forever. Joe is currently a hundred feet from the wall. In the first second that he's walking, he moves very quickly 50 feet towards the wall, cutting his distance from the wall in half. In the second second, he moves a little bit slower, 25 feet towards the wall, again cutting his distance in half. Each second, Joe walks half the remaining distance towards the wall. Poor Joe. He'll never get there. Joe is infinitely, infinitely approaching the wall. Even when he gets to be one inch away, a second later, he'll still only be half an inch away. Since he's one-dimensional, he won't ever bump into the wall. He won't ever touch it. He'll just always stay half a fraction less, half a fraction closer, but never quite there. Let's go back to our parabola puzzle. So far, we have a graph of the point 1, 1 on the parabola y equals x squared. We've decided that the slope at this point, 1, 1, equals the slope of the tangent line through this point. We can't find a second point on this particular tangent line. We don't have enough information. But we can draw a few other lines through this point to give us some more clues. Let's see. We know that there's a point 2, 4 that also lies on the parabola y equals x squared. So let's draw a line through the point 2, 4 that also goes through the point 1, 1. Next, we also know that there's a point 0, 0 on this parabola. So let's draw a line that goes through the point 0, 0 and through the point 1, 1. So now what we have going on here is a shallower line and a steeper line. And our tangent line lies approximately somewhere in the middle. So we know we can find the slope of these two lines th through algebra because we have two points on these lines. And we can at least get a range of where we think our tangent line slope is going to be. 
Using algebra, we find that the shallow line slope is 1 and that the steep line slope is 3. Now let's try to get an even better estimate. Using the points, the clo closer to 1,1, 1, 1.1, 1, 1.21, 1 0.9, 0 0.81, we can draw our same steep and shallow lines through these sets of points. Using our algebra again, we find that now more specifically, our slope must be between 2.1 and 1.9. Now is where the concept of infinitely approaching something comes in. When choosing points to draw steep and shallow lines through, the closer our points are to 1, 1, the more accurate our guess will be. We want to get as close as possible, infinitely close to the point 1, 1. The number infinitely approaching 1 from below is 0.9 repeating. For the purposes of solving this problem, we'll call the quantity 1 minus 0.9 repeating an infinitely small amount, d. Okay, so now we're going to use this concept of d to try to figure out exactly what the slope is at the point 1, 1. We're going to use our point 1, 1, and then a point just d away on the slope of the parabola from that point. So to get that, we add d to each coordinate, and here for the y coordinate, we have to square it because the original equation is y equals x squared. Um, next, we're going to FOIL out this 1 plus d, and that comes to 1 plus 2d plus d squared. So now we have these two points here, and we want to find the slope between them, which, since d is so infinitely, sh infinitely small, should be the same as that tangent line that we had originally going through the point 1, 1. So we're going to find now um, the y-coordinate minus the other y-coordinate, the x-coordinate minus the other x-coordinate, and that um, allows us to cross out these two points because they're the same, and also we're going to cross out these two points because they're the same. So now we have 2d plus d squared over d, and then we can cross out some more. We can cross out the, this d and one of these d's, because of this denominator. And finally, we're going to end up with 2 plus d. Um, now, we said that d is a number that's 1 minus 0.9 repeating. So it's so close to 0 that it essentially is 0. Um, we're going to make that assumption for right now, and we're going to say that 2 plus d, the answer that we got through this math, equals 2. Now, this makes sense if you look back to those um, original lines that we made. Our estimates um, suggested that our answer would be somewhere around 2, so this is great. All right, so congratulations to us. We just found the derivative of our point 1, 1 on the parabola y equals x squared. We know that the slope is 2 at this point. So let's go back to that word derivative that we talked about because although we've found the slope at this one point, we'd like to have an equation that we could just plug our x-coordinates into easily that would allow us to find the slope on any point of this parabola. So um, the way we're going to do this is we're going to take down this 2 visually look at it as just really taking it down and then subtracting 1 from the exponent. So uh, the derivative of y equals x squared is y equals 2x and we put plus or minus d on the end as a formality. So you can see that if we plugged in the point 1, 1 into this equation then we'd get that the slope of the parabola y equals x squared at the point 1, 1 is 2.